Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge outdoor wall sconce called the Polaris Medium. 30, 40, 8, 52. Awesome fixture. A lot of details. Let's get into the size first. This is 13.9 inches overall height, and that's going to be the distance from the bottom of the glass to the top of the back plate of the fixture. So it's right to here, okay? And it's almost 14 inches, and then 5.4 inches wide. So it's going to be, well, probably as wide as this. It looks like it's the widest point. And then 8.5 inch projection. That's going to be the projection from the wall out to the edge of the glass. The mounting height, which is going to be the distance from the bottom of the fixture, which is the bottom of the glass, to the middle of the electrical outlet box is coming in at 10.6. It's got a back plate on it that's 5 inches by 6.5 going to go over your standard junction box. This is what you guys should have. Most of you do, I hope. Um, if you want to see more details about this, let's look at the installation's instructions. So if you're on the page for this on HandmadeInVermont.com, look over on this side of the screen, midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installation's instructions PDF. Open that up for me. It's going to show you all the parts that come with this. They're going to go, go over your junction box. <clears throat> the other thing about the back plate is you're going to need to know this if you guys are cutting a block to go into clabbered or shingles. It's very important. And when you're putting this on the block, after you've installed it, run a little bit of clear silicone around this so where it meets the building because you want to keep moisture from getting into your building. It's just a little detail. It takes a second. It's very cheap, but it, it solves a lot of problems way in the future. So try to do that. This is only six pounds all in, so it's super light. All good there. Let's get into a lot of details about this. And I kind of want to show you some of the details of the construction of this. So you have the fixture, which we see here, and that's aluminum. <clears throat> you have the glass on this, and it's the, the way I see that it's hand-blown glass is when I look at the top of this and I can see all these rings, shows me this is actually blown by hand into a mold and then diamond cut on the end. The glass on this is super thick. Check it out. Um, I'm very impressed by this. It has some subtle waves in it, maybe a little air bubble here and there. Again, those little air bubbles tell me that this is a handmade piece of glass. Really, really beautiful. <clears throat> and I used to work in the jewelry industry prior to becoming a lighting guy, so I'm really attentive to details, especially on metal. And when I look at this, this is called the accent. It's a screen with these pieces on the top and bottom. It has a retaining ring on the top, and you can see how this all goes together on uh, the installation's instructions. I'll talk about that in a sec. But I noticed the details on this, how the construction is just absolutely flawless. It's, it's incredibly well done. And, and even on the inside, it's just, you know, can't tell you how, how Hubbardton really gets into the details of the, how they construction, construct things. Okay, so let's move on from there. You know you have uh, your regular standard coastal finishes for this. This is the fixture body or the fixture itself. This accent's going to be available in two uh, flavors as far as the finish goes. You're going to have coastal gold, which is this, and you're going to have coastal silver. So those are going to be your accents. Uh, glass is just the glass, so that is that. Um, when we get into what's inside of this, it's going to be kind of important. Hubbardton says you can go up to 100 watts going into a medium base socket, which is this guy right here, porcelain. Uh, that's for the uh, heat generated by an incandescent bulb for the 100 watts. If you guys want to do an LED, you can do whatever you like. This is a T10 LED. And this is the one I kind of recommend, and I'll show you why. So during when you're putting this thing together, you're, it's going to come with this retaining tool that basically takes uh, place of your hand getting in here. So it's hard to get my hand in here to put the retaining rings on to keep it all together. But what happens is this actually grasps. You can almost kind of see it like that. So it grasps the, the um, this, and, and it basically turns it to get it on there. So. Don't ever throw this away. Just just stick it in a drawer when you're done putting this together, and, and you'll need it in the future someday, so if your light bulb ever goes out. But the thing is, um, this bulb is a T10, and the nice thing about it is it's so skinny it fits right inside here. So you put the bulb on first during your installation, and then you put your components on, like your glass and your accent. So it's just a, a good way to go. There might be some of you out there in the world, like in California, that are pulling permits for new construction or renovation in the state of California. It's probably going to make you do a California Title 24 compliance socket. That's this little guy with the prongs. Actually, the prongs are here. These little slots, what they do is they kind of allow this to just snap in. And what that means is you're not allowed to use any kind of incandescent screw-in in the state of California for new construction or renovations that you, that you pull permits for. So if the guy's going to be coming out and checking, that's where you run into this kind of thing. So just kind of get your ducks in a row on that. 
These come in the T10 size too, so you can always get this. You don't have to worry about this. And this comes frosted as well, so you, know, you can play around. <clears throat> and you can get these even a little longer. Your only limit is on these T10 bulbs is you know how far it protrudes down. So I think there's actually longer versions of this that can get this bulb all the way down and increase the lumen output. So you can play around online and looking at those. But anyway, if you guys are in that camp that you might need a, a GU24 socket setup, just drop me a quick email and we do that as a custom. Okay, I think that covers pretty much everything. We talked about the back plate, talked about the size of this. There's a size up from this. Talked about finishes, talked about this part of it. Uh, going back to your LEDs, I always talk about the color of light coming out of an LED. I tend to like the warm white. That's just me. Uh, that's 3000 Kelvin, and that's what the light is coming down on my hands right now. When you're out looking at your light bulbs in a light bulb store, you know, big box store or online, just remember, you're going to have a little chart on the box or on the page for this where they talk about the, the color of the light, the Kelvin color, Kelvin number. Lower numbers are going to be warmer. Higher numbers are going to be cooler, bluer, whiter daylight like doctor's office or outside. So 3000 Kelvin, that's going to be your nice warm incandescent glow, that's like what's coming down on my hands. 4000, 5000 Kelvin, that's going to be that uh, whiter outdoor light. Let's talk about something else. Uh, same kind of idea. Um, they only use aircraft grade aluminum to make all of their outdoor lighting and the reason they do that is because aluminum holds up better than any other material in harsh extreme weather when you go out and you're out in the world look up and you'll see those jet airlines flying up there way above your head they're all made out of aluminum for a reason because it holds up beautifully it welds beautifully it doesn't rust it's very light and it's just the best material to use outside so on top of that they have developed these outdoor baked epoxy powder coats that can go over this and um, make them pretty much indestructible and we're going to talk about that right now. So how they do this, you'll notice in the picture next to me there's a picture of a woman and uh, she's actually shooting uh, powdered finish at the fixture and they take the fixture, let's say this is the fixture to begin with, okay? They wire it up with a wire here, a wire coming down, they run a small amount of electricity through it to make it positive. And What that does, it makes it attract everything around it. So when she's over there spraying little bits of powdered finish what it's going to do it's going to go over the entire fixture it's going to get into every nook every cranny top bottom sides the whole thing they're going to take that fixture they're going to put it into an oven that's going to melt that down and turn and make it into a hard epoxy shell and it makes it you know incredibly strong <clears throat> because they do this and these things have been tested in these wind chambers where they have shot you know salty uh, seawater at them basically because that's what's going to happen on a beach right where a lot of these things are going to end up they had to really do that to make sure that they're going to hold up for you and because they do have done that they offer the best uh, warranty for the entire lighting industry and you can see that over on the, the left hand side of your screen limited lifetime warranty for residential use and check it out and it'll really make you feel better about their products. Cool. Okay. Moving on from there, why don't we talk about our showroom in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubberton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We actually have a what's on display page on our website. It's over in the red tabs over on the left hand side of your screen so you can open up that and check it out. Showroom has also a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing deal for you. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you guys are going to come visit us, do me a favor. Bring a big SUV, <laughs> if you can, if you have one, only because the boxes are set up for shipping. Uh, measure everything you can think of. So measure with a measuring tape. Measure your ceilings. Measure counters, tables, distances between junction boxes and things like ceilings. Because if you're looking, you want to make sure when you're looking at these things that they're going to be able to be used by you for your needs. Okay? Um, and then um, also bring an iPad. If you guys are doing a project and you have a tablet laying around at home, take pictures with that. Take pictures and, and you can bring that tablet in and we can go through all those pictures together and look and see what you guys are doing and I can help you out on that, okay? So when you buy your Hubberton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont and we're the only dealer with 90 day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, generally big things on pallets and custom things are going to be non-returnable. We'll always tell you that on the page for it so just keep your eyes peeled for that. And then on top of all that, we offer a rush program. So in order for you to get all of these different finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It takes generally about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it is super, super inexpensive. A lot of people don't even know about it. If you want to know about it, the best thing to do is just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. 
You can also call 802-446-2400 during business hours. And so I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys want to talk to me. And then you can email us, uh, you know, seven days a week at sales at handmadeinvermont.com where we spell out the word Vermont. So I think that kind of wraps things up on this. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.